All right, so I've got this set up to test. Have a Ryobi 18 volt cordless drill with a 3D printed battery adapter. Some uh, metal contacts that I have fashioned to connect into the drill and then a non-conductive clamp to hold it on the battery and a DC rated clamp meter to measure the current. So let me position this so you can hopefully see the uh, meter and we will make sure the meter is zeroed so that looks good. So first test I'm going to just have it free running no load so 2.9 yeah, so around 3 amps with no load but when you first turn it on it does peak. Let's try the higher gear That's a little higher. So, okay. Now, let's see what it looks like if I put a light load on it. That's just uh, gently holding on to the chuck a little bit with a, my hand. Whew, that gets hot. Lots of friction. But um, I think I saw that peaked. What's, what did that peak at? Did that peak at 12 or 15? Or it, it looked like a pretty high number to me. Higher, higher than... Uh, Yeah, so there, there's around 20 amps when I uh, grabbed on with a, a leather glove uh, fairly firmly, is I think what I saw. Um, so yeah, that's... Yeah. When you put a load on the motor, and that, that was just lightly, relatively lightly, just grabbing it with my hand. You know, if, if you were putting a... Uh, if you were putting a... a screw into a very hard uh, surface, you know, trying to drill into oak or break something loose that's uh, really in there good, and you're really, you know, got both hands on the tool, so you get as much torque as you can out of it, that's probably going to put a lot more load than me just grabbing onto here with one hand.